Hello, Bob. I'm at the University of Birmingham and I'm meeting Bob. He's a new robot. A new generation of robots that are no longer doing muscle work. Instead, they're doing brain work. Now, what makes Bob supposedly very clever is that he can monitor all sorts of different environments and then spot when there's odd anomalies within that environment. So he's done some work as a security guard and he can watch out if there's a door open when it should be closed or even if there are missing sheaves of paper that should be on a desk. And the idea is that eventually he could work in hospitals, care homes, supermarkets, anywhere where there are quite complex environments and you're spotting funny things going on that shouldn't be going on. Now, without wishing to be too unkind to Bob, he's not the most sophisticated machine mechanically. He's basically a Dalek. He's got a bumper here. He's got 2D lasers here to make sure he doesn't crash into anything. And then he has two different sets of eyes, one set here and one set there. And basically, they're off the top of an Xbox or a Nintendo Wii. They're monitoring everything around him. These eyes here are just to make him more friendly. The key thing, however, is the set of three computers inside his body which are mapping all that information that he's monitoring and then, crucially, interpreting those maps. Now, we're going to give Bob a task, which is to find this banana. OK, so today it's a piece of fruit, but who knows? Tomorrow it could be some missing medicine in a care home or a missing nuclear warhead. Who knows? Come on, Bob. looking in the right area. Bob has finally found the banana and what you're seeing is what Bob is seeing and he's mapped out this entire laboratory at the university on the computer screen over there and what he's doing all those little red arrows is him moving around and all those triangles is him monitoring different surface areas and he's built up a knowledge of this area so when it should change he can make sure he adapts to the environment. And that is what makes Bob, yes, that's you, so clever. Is Bob going to change the world? I doubt it very much on today's evidence, but we are just one year into a four year project. And at the end of that, who knows, he might be able to help humans do one or two specific jobs. One thing he can do is analyze loads and loads of data, possibly more efficiently than a human can.